words. Uh, there is no such thing as non-binary. And transitioning children is profound abuse. Okay, so the UK, Ireland, Australia, Malta, Argentina, United States of America, Canada, any country you can possibly uh, trip off your tongue is being totally co-opted by this pernicious, dishonest, woman-hating cult. And all the women here, and men, and thank you for coming, are here to say no. So let me just start it off as I should. Oh, what a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being a... <laughs> Helen Joyce. Simple. They're the things that we all know. And the reason that we have to keep saying them is not because we're hateful. It's not because we're mean. It's not because we're just controversialists. It's not because we're right wing, although some of us I bet are. That's fine. People all over the political spectrum know what's happening here is wrong. The reason we have to keep saying them is because human rights depend upon it. They say that they're human rights, but look at them. They're anti-speech. They're anti-freedom of expression. They're anti-freedom of belief. They don't understand that women's rights depend on women being able to set boundaries that exclude men. All men. All men, however they identify. If a woman cannot stand in a public place and say, I exclude all men, however they identify, from female-only spaces, then women have no rights. I said that on Twitter a few months ago, and a guy who's a surgeon in the army screen grabbed it, put it on Facebook with no comment, and was reported, and is now out of the army simply for sharing that straightforward fact. Make no mistake, we are fighting for the survival of democracy, for liberal values, for proper government. We are not doing this for fun, we are doing it because human rights depend on it. And not only women's human rights, but children's human rights. This cult is lying to children. It is misleading them. It is destroying their mental health. It is putting nice, sweet, dear little gay boys and girls on the path to transition and sterility. The day I decided to write my book was the day that I said to myself, clearly in my mind, the sentence, they are sterilizing gay kids. It's a human rights abuse. It's as bad as lobotomies. We will look back on this and say, how the hell did we let this happen? And when your grandchildren say to you, where were you, mummy? Where were you when they were sterilizing gay kids? You can say, I was here. I was speaking up. I was trying to stop it with everything I could. Okay, I'm off to the RDS. I've been offered a lift. Thank you all.